The search for the missing submersible will likely cost millions of dollars, but who's paying for it? Technically, yes, US taxpayers are paying for part of the rescue mission since the US Air Force, the Coast Guard, and the Navy all joined in. But there isn't some massive bill at the end of the search. They don't charge a fee because otherwise people would delay calling for help when they need it. As you can see on the map, a bunch of other countries also help with the search, including Canada, France, and the Bahamas. Other organizations like the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, which helped discover the Titanic wreckage nearly 40 years ago, also helped consult on the mission even though they physically couldn't be there. Since after all, the submersible went missing over 900 miles east of Massachusetts, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. 